To use the lipstick column visual on our website, you will go to the lipstick column page and click on modify visual. If you are a first time user, you will need to register on our website by clicking on this blue link or on the visual page at the very bottom clicking on get started. You will get an activation email that will need to activate your account and back on the screen you can enter your login details and sign into the tool. If you're logging in for the first time, it takes a few minutes to log in. Once inside, you can open up the visual in two ways. One, clicking on the library button here. It opens up all the visuals that we have in our gallery and you can pick the visual that you want to modify. An alternative is go back to the visual page. This time when you click on modify visual and the system would automatically take you to the visual editor page. Um, you can go either way, it's the same result. So since I have it open, let's do this. In this tool, a very quick overview of the way it's organized. The left panel deals with the chart types and the data fields. The middle panel deals with all the formatting options. And the right panel is where you select your data as well as see the real-time rendering of the visual. Now, one thing to note is that the data used is sample data. But when you export the visual, the data that is used is what you have in your Power BI. So if you are connecting to a SQL database, an Excel file, any other data source, you would see that data source. This sample data will not be associated with the exported visual. So this is just for demonstration purposes or looking at how the visual looks like in real time. The top is where you can switch between different dashboards if you have multiple ones or export the visual. And there are some additional settings as well as help guide, the documentation piece. For users who want to get started right away, we have already created the visual for you. All you need to do is go to export visual, fill in the right details for version. Uh, you can leave the name as it is or change it as you wish. Um, support URL you can ignore. Put in the author name as well as the email that you want this visual to reflect. One important thing to note is that GUID field is a unique field that is required by all visuals. So when you are using the visual in your Power BI dashboard, this ID has to be unique. It cannot conflict with any other GUID from the marketplace or from any of the visuals you might have used before. If you are doing an update to this visual and this is not your first time, we recommend keeping the GUID the same because that will help with the update. But if you are not updating and this is your very first download, please click on this refresh button and create a new GUID for your visual. This will ensure that there is no conflict with any other marketplace visual. The fields are pre-selected. On the format side, um, we recommend selecting a few options for legend, let's take all. X-axis, we want these two options, color, position, title, um, ability to change title, as well as show labels. All of these options should be enough for your use. However, if you are opting for a single time download, I would recommend you to choose all options because you don't get a second chance to come back after you have paid and downloaded. So we recommend pick all the options that are there. If you are on a subscription plan, however, we recommend selecting the options that are necessary. This will help avoid clutter in your Power BI visual dashboard. If you need another visual, you can always come back and select additional options or deselect additional options. So y-axis, we do the same thing. We want axis, axis line, color, may not be position, title, title, color, size, and labels. 
I have not selected grid lines. Let's select grid lines for now. Plot 0 and plot 1 is where you are selecting the individual options for the bars. So the, the yellow bar, the set of yellow bars, the set of gray bars, all of the options would be here. Now you would be able to change all of these options that you select in format tab. You would be able to change all this in Power BI. So for plot, let's take color, width is important, border details are important. Maybe label placement and position as well as font size color. Do the same here. Okay, so once we are ready and we are satisfied with all the changes, we really recommend you to export the free visual, try it out, and when you are happy, you can go and make a purchase by clicking on pay and export. Uh, there is the subscription option as well. So if I click on export, uh, it takes about a minute or two depending on how busy the server is. So in a minute, minute or two you will get a prompt. Once it's ready, you can save it to a folder on your drive. And open up Power BI to start importing and using the file. So clicking on here, import a visual from file, import, and we click on the visual we just downloaded, open, and you would see that this icon over here has come up. So clicking on this icon gives you the visual. Let's expand it a little bit. Okay. So x-axis is categorical, so let's take product here, and then we want, say, current year sales, last year sales, and maybe I want to show only label one. I don't want to show both labels. So once we have it here, you can see all the details, the visual render in. All the formatting options we have provided are available in the formatting section. So legend position, you can change the title, color, font, x-axis, standard options available in x-axis, same with y-axis. The piece where you want to be relevant to you more is under plot 0 and plot 1, so plot 0. You can change the color options from here and you can change the bar width from over here. So if I increase that, see what happens here is that we recommend keeping the bar width below one or else it will fill up the screen so if we want we can make it 0.7 or you can reduce it down to whatever um, width works for you let me reset the bar width to 0.5. Same goes with the second plot, the inner plot. So you can change the color, bar width, bar border color, and bar border width. Uh, the labels, um, you get to choose where the position is, so outside versus inside, and where the placement is within the bar. Now for outside, middle, start, end, all of those would be similar results. So it's really inside, middle, start, and end versus outside. options that are generally available with Power BI to change different aspects of the chart visual uh, look and feel. We hope you are able to create some powerful insights using this uh, lipstick column chart and do let us know if you face any issues by contacting us through the e email provided on our website.